here with somebody that um, it excites me so much to bring him to you. This is, um, well, you remember the phenomena of men are from Mars, women are from Venus? Well, the man who wrote that book, it's an iconic book, uh, still relevant today, is with me today. And, um, well, let's just go right to it. So it's John Gray. How are you? Thank you. Happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you here. Sex uh, is... Uh, Probably a, a men are from Mars, women are from Venus kind of situation. Oh, my situation. next best-selling book is Mars, Venus in the Bedroom. It's okay. spectacular. All right. And now we have the hormonal mm -hmm. understanding of what causes orgasm in women. Okay, what is we that? We didn't know that until okay. 10 years ago. Tell us. Oxytocin. Oxytocin. The same hormone that causes contractions at childbirth mm -hmm. is the same hormone that causes milk to flow in the breast is the same hormone that causes the little contractions at the time of orgasm. Those little contractions <laughs> are literally releasing the hormone oxytocin from her brain, flooding her body with oxytocin is the off switch. That's mm, the off switch mm. to women's stress. This hormone oxytocin is the hormone that lowers cortisol levels in women. So this was a breakthrough because so it this, doesn't lower cortisol in men. So to, for a woman taking oxytocin, it's more than having uh, more frequent and stronger orgasms. This is actually good for her heart? Everything. Interesting. Because it lowers her stress. As we yeah. talked away, every si major sickness, the pathway is stress is a major part of it. Our society today is not a society that supports women in rebuilding oxytocin. Here's the number one inhibitor to oxytocin buildup. So to increase oxytocin is feeling not enough time. When you feel, I don't have enough time, you're becoming masculine. Men thrive and not enough time. Not enough time stimulates dopamine, which has got to do it now. Right. And which that then stimulates the release of testosterone into the body, which gives them faster reaction to get it done now, which keeps a man feeling good. Men feel good when they're solving problems. Men okay. become depressed when they can't solve a problem. And when women don't have enough time? They, it inhibits the production of oxytocin. They begin to feel overwhelmed. Their stress levels go four times higher than a man's. Anybody is, out here relate to that? <laughs> this, is, this is the phenomenon of women every hand. today. Yeah, yeah, every hand. I mean, this is a phenomenal thing. So what, what you well, do... Because women are, are uh, super women now. They're working. They're the perfect mothers. They, they, they are the perfect wife. They run the house. They do the shopping. They do, it's, it's, it's a lot. Oh, when I'm working with women, often the question that comes up is, why do we even need a man? He becomes another child to take care of. <laughs> Another source of stress. Anyone out there relate to that? <laughs> so what, what, I, what I have, like my most recent book is, is Men Are From Mars for Women Only. Because oh. this is how to get your man off the couch. This is how to get your man romantically interested in you. This is how to reawaken the juices in the man to provide support for you. Because it's not going to be automatic. That's what you have to know. Men are on a decline like this. This is statistically true. Their testosterone levels are going down, down, down. Women have the power to raise them up. And one of the ways to raise it up is even creating a situation where you motivate him to do the things that will stimulate your oxytocin so you're having a full-blown orgasm. When a man can stimulate a full-blown orgasm in a woman, his testosterone is now going to go way up because he's now alpha male. Women should feel the burden of her own happiness. Uh -huh. If a woman can focus her energies not on him but more on herself yes. to create oxytocin and motivate him, which is a bit of a job in uh -huh. itself, motivate him to do things that will stimulate oxytocin in her, then she will be giving the greatest gift to him because her oxytocin levels make her happier, mm -hmm. more fulfilled. And the thing about men, if we see you happy, we take credit for it. We go, I did that. <laughs> you know, when a woman sees a guy happily watching TV, she doesn't take credit for that. That doesn't thrill her. <laughs> but, so there's a dynamic of the hormonal differences there. So for women, instead of thinking, giving more to a man, think, how can I get him to give more to me? And how can I create time for myself? So we live in a world that's very testosterone oriented, urgency, emergency, sacrifice, making money, all that stuff increases testosterone not oxytocin, actually inhibits oxytocin production. So what we're going to do is balance it. You wrote Men Are From Mars uh, how many years ago? 22 years ago. 22 years ago, and it's part of the vernacular. If you want to explain what a man, you go, you know, Men Are From Mars. 
and you don't even need to finish it. Look <laughs> what you've done. Mm. You feel good about yourself? I do. Yeah. I do. You enjoy your work? I love it. I bet you have a lot of oxytocin and serotonin. I and love it, and I love <laughs> your work because I tell all my clients, you can't just do the physical stuff, behavioral stuff. You've got to get the nutrition yep. to support it. You've yep. got to have the raw data material because our food doesn't give it to us. You are so right. Thank you, John Gray. A pleasure. I, uh, come back again. I love this conversation. Thank you.